Boss? Boss, I got I got some things to tell you. I'm a little, um... Oh. Yeah, I can have my assistant, I mean, loyal apprentice do that. What do you want? Um, I have a conversation to have with the boss about some things that I, uh, I found. No, no, this conversation is mostly done. That's good. Hi, apprentice. <clears throat> nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. Now we gotta go and find the elite leader. I gotta go get beef and I gotta go back before that bird comes back again. That was a big problem. Wait, parrot? Okay, you're still here. That's good. I wasn't sure if you actually were gonna come with or if you would have been disintegrated, but it's good that this works. I've actually never tried that. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something about you. Beef? Yeah, that's the one we're gonna have to get, but I don't know where he is or exactly how I'm going to get to him. So I'm gonna have to drop you off somewhere. Where can I drop you off? There's the leader. He probably won't take you. I can't leave you in the academy because that's that's probably not going to be good for your health. I could. I'm not sure if that's... Hmm. Gargoyles might have a place and time for you. You know, with a little bit of hope, he will probably not dissect you. Um, but I think it's my best option. Just don't be worried. Just you're fine. Hope. Yeah, that's you got to have a lot of that. And then he won't open you up and see what you look like on the inside. That's 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 good. So let's run the goggles. Then got to get back to the academy and then got to get back to the desert steves as quickly as possible before anything happens. I want to know. I, I need to know what those sea dwellers were, what they talked about. I need to make a deal with them that if I help them out with this, that I'm going to be introduced to whomever that is because I have come back with some of the most important news in Red Steve history and I have not yet been able to tell anybody. So let's get you the goggles and then I gotta hurry over to the academy. Okay, Parrot, we're almost there. Uh, don't be worried that this is, house is totally normal. I hope it's repaired, because otherwise you might just fly out the window. No, okay, that's fine. Goggles, goggles, I'm sorry, I'm gonna let myself in. I have a friend. What do you want? I'm busy. I have something uh, very interesting to do. Oh, cool. Welcome back. I thought you said you were going to be gone for a long time. That was the plan, right? But in the meantime, I ran into a bit of a problem. And I gotta go get beef and I gotta go talk to the other elites. But I found this little guy and I'm not gonna be able to bring him along for anything. Wait, what is that? It is a red chicken parrot. They call it different things depending on the forest, Steve, really. Like, some of them agree with me. Uh, regardless of that, I'm going to have to go to the academy. I gotta go talk to the boss. And then I'm going to have to go and get beef because I ran into a big thing that breeds dragons. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, just... I'm gonna have to leave this with you. Forest, Steve. I'll talk to you about it later, okay? It's parrots. It might sometimes stalk. Don't eat it. Don't open it up. It is perfectly normal to keep him like he is. He will just sit there. You can't just brush over that. Goggles, I gotta... I gotta go. It, it's important or things to do because if the thing ever finds a red kingdom we have a whole big trouble don't you dare leave me with this thing without any context dude it's basically a chicken so you go you go out you grab a couple of seeds you feed it to him it'll be like all happy and stuff it might bite your hand don't be worried it didn't do it to me yet but it did it to a first steve so don't worry about that he'll just sit there hopefully he's been uh coming with me if you do need to go somewhere please keep an eye on him and take him along with you he can be teleported he will not disintegrate so that is a good thing don't try to test that theory to see how well how much stress this thing can handle because it looks like very small and delicate but i'm sorry i have to go i have a meeting with the elites that they don't know yet yet know about so uh, there's a thing that breathes fire why are you talking so fast get back here i have i have somewhere to be he will just stay there he will sit sit in the bench don't worry about him just don't blow up your house again because i'm pretty sure he cannot handle an explosion i have to go okay i will inform you about the forest steves and the desert steves and whatever sea dwells they have later and then we'll we'll talk yeah what is going on just everything everything desert steves uh, sorry just keep an eye on the chicken Oh, I'm going to have to explain that sooner or later to him because it's very difficult. I I sure hope the boss is in, otherwise I'm going to have a bit of trouble. And it's going to be very awkward walking back to Gargs' house and be like, Oh, well, gotta talk to you about this. We gotta get this situation dealt with before the Desert Steves are all destroyed. Because as far as I'm aware, it might come back again tomorrow. Oh boy.
Okay, so I gotta find the boss. He is going to be somewhere in the academy, most likely, but I'm not sure if he's going to be in the library or literally anybody anywhere else. Let's check the meeting room first, just in case, because it's the most likely. Let's hope that it's not locked. Boss! Boss! I gotta. I got some things to tell you. I'm a little, um... Oh. Yeah, I can have my assistant, I mean, loyal apprentice, do that. Oh, cool. Welcome back. Uh, hi. I, um... I didn't mean to intrude. I'll... I can't wait outside. It's um, it's a little busy, so I'll just wait here until your conversation is over, unless it is already over. Uh, hello, Cole. Hello, King. Nice to see you. What do you want? Um, I have a conversation to have with the boss about some things that I, uh, I found. No, no, this conversation is mostly done. That's good. Hi, apprentice. <clears throat> nice to meet you. Go on, then. Uh, it's something I think it's more of an elite thing. We can talk later, King. Hello. Hi. Um, so I'll wait until uh, <clears throat> the room is clear. It's fine. Just, <clears throat> it's just, I'll, uh... Also, I need to speak to you later as well. And, uh, yeah, right. Uh, right after this, I'll, I'll come by. He doesn't like me, does he? Not anymore after the whole thing. No. I, he got the other apprentice. That seemed like a pretty cool fella, right? I think, I think, I don't know. I don't, who is he? Is, have you met him? He's nice, yeah. Yeah, I hope that he is uh, not going to be angry at me for not choosing that position. Speaking of not choosing that position, um, I went out, like we discussed, and I actually managed to find something. So here, real quickly, check my uh, my container unit. I have found a few things here. Look at this. This is cactus. It can destroy literally anything. Oh, great. I also found this uh, this bamboo stuff. You can actually make, make this stuff out of it. I can... Come on. There we go, it's a little big. You can make this stuff out of it, and you can actually climb in it, so that's really cool. I found these coca beans, which is apparently used for, for flavoring and coloring. What is that? It's a whole bunch of things. We have... What else was it? This red stuff, which they call a melon, which I haven't tried yet, but it's apparently for eating. I haven't tried that yet. I found these, these berries, which I found in another biome, which was very interesting. Uh, wow. Yeah, I found some of these flowers, but I think we have these flowers here as well. I was They were given to me by the Desert Steves. I also got from the Jungle Steves a little bit of this, which is apparently the trees that you have to have the, the coca beans grow on. Otherwise, they won't properly grow. And it's a, it's a whole thing about agriculture and, and stuff like that. Wait, what? Yeah, so... And also the Desert Steves, they are dealing with... Desert Steves? Yeah, they're dealing with this large thing called the Lost Inferno, which kind of destroys their entire town and civilization every time. And I'm actually coming back to see if we can fix some of that. Who? What? Yeah, so... Um, can you go get beef so we can actually uh, do something about that? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Just hit him up. Say all of that again, but explain so that I understand what you're saying. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> So I went to this biome, and there were very big trees. It's it's all in this log, so here, keep, read the log when you have some time. I found this biome, which has a bunch of, like, very tall spruce-like trees, and I found some of the berries over there, and a bunch of, like, mossy cobblestone that is just sprouted up everywhere. And when I walked through that, I found a very bright green forest with these very thin sticks, which are actually called bamboo, which I gave you a few of, which they apparently are from a jungle. Huh? It's a whole other forest, a big area, and there is Steve's there, and they call themselves Forest Steve's, which I thought was a little unoriginal, because they live in the forest, they're Forest Steve's, but then they brought up the fact that we're Red Steve's, which makes a lot of sense. So, they introduced me to a bunch of stuff that was in that jungle. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I got the coca beans and a bamboo and I found uh, they, they told me about the scaffolding stuff which I think we can actually very well use for the construction of of the academy if if you know if we're going to be continuing that because I there hasn't been a whole lot of progress since I've been gone on the other end I haven't been gone that long but after I went to the foresties who also introduced me to a creature called a parrot which is basically a red chicken it just doesn't lay any eggs so it's kind of like less useful but more pretty uh what now a par parrot parrot it's a red chicken uh, God has it at his house right now so you can go check it out if you have some uh, some time where is that it's it's like it's like goggles the jungle is a little ways away from you it took me a couple of days to actually get there but they also had a big bear creature which is about the size of a horse and they called it a panda they called it paul and it actually eats the tiny sticks that you made these uh, these things out of the bamboo stuff a pen what 
a panda, which is like the, a large horse-sized creature. It's it's black and white, and it kind of just lumps about, and whenever it eats, it kind of sits on its butt and just like yum 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 eats stuff. I haven't been able to take one with me. It was a little bit too big. I have a lot of questions, but okay. Yeah, and after the forest thieves, they were like, hey, Cole, do you want to come along to go and see these uh, these other thieves from the dry place? And I was like, the dry place? What are you talking about? And they were like, well, we're trading with these other people and we're going to have to give them colors for dyes and they're going to give us more colors so we can make green dye because apparently they were all about being green. You know, they are they are forest thieves, so it kind of makes a lot of sense. Uh, so they were like, here, you have some bamboo so you can build your pyramid. So I went to their, 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 their like town and their town is actually on the floor, which the forest thieves village is not. Which is very scary. The desert thieves actually have their their large town built on the floor, and it's very pretty because they're very good builders, and they have, they have a lot of color everywhere because they're all about like using different colors in a lot of their builds. Very unlike what we do. And after they gave me a little bit of a tour and we kind of like met each other, they mentioned sea dwellers. But right before, after they did that, this large thing showed up, and it started like flying around and burning down their entire village. And after we came out of their bunker, apparently this was something that happened a lot to them. A flying thing? They called it the Lost Inferno, which is like a big flying red chicken that burns things. Yeah, yeah. So what I was like, I was like, okay, so what if we are going to be setting up a trading deal? And I'm asking, I'm going to ask them to bring me to those sea dwellers that they mentioned because I want to know who that is. But they are being like slowly destroyed because apparently this thing comes by once or twice a week and it's been happening for forever and they are super chill and they don't really care what happens to their people because apparently a lot of new desert steve show up all the time. Oh, that's concerning. It is, very much so, but I was thinking, what if we bring beef to the desert Steve's and then he can look at that thing and be like, hmm, this is the best how we're going to be fighting that thing. Or it's not how beef talks, more like, blah, 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 blah. but yeah, that's basically what my plan was. And I don't think that anybody else has found anything really because I've been very successful and I don't think that either one of the, the two is going to be able to beat me. So we gotta go get beef. That's, that's the story. It's a lot, I'm aware. It happened all in like the last three days. No, I stayed at the forest village for about well, four, four days, five. I don't know, I kind of lost track of time. Huh, yeah. So, how about, y yeah, that's that's it. That's the whole story. That's what we got to do. You could contact everybody, right? Like, that was not a problem. You mentioned that during training, but I don't know if now that we're, are they too far? I sure hope that you're going to be able to, because otherwise we're going to have to look for them. Well, then, yeah. You go talk to the king and I'll contact everyone. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll do that. I am not looking forward to that, just because... Oh boy. Here, take this back. Oh, yeah, uh, I'll make sure to document any future things, but I'll, I'll give it back whenever you have some time to uh, to really read everything through. Do you have any idea what the king wants to talk to me about? Is it bad? Because I'm thinking it's bad. Uh, yeah, I expected as much. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, you too, with finding beef and all. I'll be back. Oh boy. Oh, um, I'm not looking forward to this conversation. I think that he didn't take me not taking up the apprentice position a little harder than I had anticipated, but he's got a new apprentice, which looked nice enough. I don't know if he anything special about him, but guess maybe future will tell. <clears throat> King, I am, uh, I, I have some time. You wanted to speak to me? Oh, great. You actually came. Didn't expect that. Well, no, I didn't have any reason not to come. I, I, well, we were a little busy, but now we're situated. The boss is going to going to be call, contacting Beef, and uh, we're going to go out again after that. So what what did you want to talk to me about? I, I saw you were doing pretty well with your new, uh, your new apprentice. That was nice. He seemed to be an okay choice. Okay, whatever. I don't really care what you have found on your adventure or whatever. Well, I think that there's actually some things that you might be a little bit interested in because I found actually a bunch of stuff that, that is interesting. Uh, not the least of which is, are these uh, these berries, which I found interesting because they're red like us, which might uh, be nice. The decoration of the kingdom. They can be eaten, but as a plant, they're kind of like prickly. 
but that was that was nice okay sure and besides that I actually encountered it might be the, I've, I found out that it's a bit of a bombshell to drop because goggles didn't take it too well and the boss didn't take it too well but there's other Steve's out there we're not alone in the world per se which is not something what we totally did not expect but it's not something that we were anticipating so yeah I ran into Steve's in a forest which called themselves forest Steve's and Steve's in a desert which called themselves desert Steve's Oh, you had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Well, um, until now I've only met the Desert Steves and the Forest Steves, but they said that there were going to be sea dwellers, which I'm assuming are either some type of intelligent animal, which I don't exactly expect, because the animals that I did found, one of them did talk. A parrot apparently is able to talk, which is like a red chicken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the Desert Steves, they, they build like great things, but they're being interrupted all the time by a creature called the Lost Inferno, which is this large fire-breathing thing that flies to the sky and just burns everything up great things you say well it's not great it's dangerous and they are they're kind of i don't know a little the the leader has a bit of a weird disposition towards his people he is very okay with them just being destroyed by this by this creature and the, his town having to be rebuilt like every every so often because it comes by like twice a week they said Oh, who cares about that? What kind of things do they have? Well, the forest steves mainly produce like bamboo and, and organic like berries that they grow on trees that you can use for flavoring and coloring. And they had these creatures called a panda and a parrot, which I brought a parrot with me, but not the, not the panda. Oh, so the boring stuff. Got it. Well, that was some of the, just the products that they were dealing with that we might actually be able to trade with. What about the desert steves? The, um... The Desert Steves, they, they, they're great builders. They are fast builders. They had a little bit of a village, which I think can be much bigger if it doesn't get destroyed twice a week. But they were currently in the process of just constructing this massive pyramid, which not not all of their houses are as big as ours, but they they have some mega structures, or they're working on them at least, that, that are bigger than our houses. Kind of like the, the academy. They might actually be able to help with that if we're still building that. Oh, this does put a smile on my face. That's that's good. Yeah, but we're gonna have to deal with the bird first. Otherwise, they're all going to be destroyed. Well, they've, they've persisted for a while, but I, I made a deal with them that if if they if we help them destroy it, then we can actually start trading with them, and maybe they can help us build stuff, and we can help them with trading stuff. I think I shall come with. This, this is very interesting. Uh, well, we're going to be dealing with this fire breathing thing, and I'm going to kind of just continue and meet with these sea dwellers. So I'm not sure how well that is going to fit in the scheduling. Okay, and, uh, well, it's dangerous for, we had to hide in a bunker, really, so, and I hit the creature with lightning and it didn't really flinch that much, so there's, a, there's some danger. We can literally just shoot fire out of our hands. Well, it shoots fire as well, so I don't think that that ha helps a lot. And you decided to hide. Well, yeah, because all the Desert Steves were doing that. I hit it with lightning and it didn't, it, it kind of just like flew away and it didn't really do anything after that. So the lightning was less effective than I'd hoped. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping that Beef can, can fix that. Haven't you ever heard of the saying, fight fire with fire? Well, yeah, but this doesn't only do fire. It like turns stone to magma and some of it just becomes liquid and becomes magma. And it, some, somehow glass appeared, which is a little confusing. But I don't... None of them saying that you shouldn't meet with them. Okay, so you avoided. That's that's what I did. Um, but not that I don't think that it would be great to have you represent our people is in this diplomatic discussion. But who's going to run the kingdom while you're gone? Because the apprentice is incredibly new, and I don't think that you can handle it yet, to be fair. Like, a bit of a new guy. So I think it's wise if you stay. And then you take down the creature with your bare hands and assert yourself. Whoa. No, you go into a bunker until Beef has got up with a plan. I think that is wiser. So if you're gonna go, which I don't, I don't think you should, because there's nobody who's, who can run the kingdom without your in your absence. But I don't think that we should try and defeat it just bare handsy, because apparently one of the desert Steve tried to jump on top of it, which didn't work. They build a dome, which didn't work. They use a wall of cactus, which can destroy everything, which didn't work. I'm just saying that it might not be that wise to come along. And and as I said, like who's going to run the kingdom? The apprentice? Come on, he's like he's like barely barely done that for like a week so I'm, I'm just saying see they are thinking on defense well yeah of course they are 
we think on offense. It hasn't really been our strong suit for a while. That's kind of beefs things specifically. Uh, but do you think that you can la leave the kingdom, well, without a ruler? Much smarter, attack before and asking questions. I don't know if that's a right approach, but um, if you think so, is your apprentice gonna come along in that case? Is he going to, or are you planning on having him run the kingdom? And yes, I do think I shall be coming with. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be it. <clears throat> yes, sure. Uh, good idea. We'll we'll come come get you. Of course, I won't let him run it by himself. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. I'll uh, I'll see you at the academy then in a little bit. The elite leader would be the main one helping. Right. Trust him a lot more. Yeah. Um. Well, I'll see you at his office in a little bit when we got beef. So um, pack and prepare. Good. Yeah, sure. Oh, this is a problem. What's gotten into him? So much more sassy. Maybe it didn't take it too well after all, but I, th I guess the desert leader and him are going to be very good friends. And I hope that the lost inferno is not going to be destroying him. Yeah. Good luck to that apprentice, I guess. Okay, so the king is going to come along, and the apprentice is going to have to rule all of this after a week of training. And we're going to have to be dealing with a fire-breathing chicken. That is just great. Wait, is that... Hi! Um, I didn't think you'd be back this soon. Beef? Beef? Uh, did he just arrive in a boat or something? Where? Where's he... Okay, there he goes. Okay, also nice to, to, to see you, uh, I guess. We're going to have to wait on Sharp anyway, and they'll probably take a while because i wonder how far everybody else has gotten i wonder what they discovered because i th i think he got them all beat I, I have to right i have to <sighs> anyways hello everyone sorry i'm back oh cool i've been here for hours where have you been i just saw you like right outside you were like right over there i think you just arrived no you didn't right hey cool how was your meeting with the king miserable uh, he's going to be coming along now and leaving you and his new apprentice in charge. It was a mirage. Mir sure. Um, oh, great. Right. Yeah. Uh, so is Sharp on his way back? Have you contacted him yet? What is this stuff? This is bamboo. I found it on the on the way uh, while I was surfing. We'll talk about that in a second. Or are you going to still have to just go and contact him uh, about that? I was just about to do that. I will uh, we'll stay here. I'll explain to beef what this is. Be back. Yeah, so this is bamboo. You can kind of like jump up in it and you can stand on it and then you can go down in it again. It's not not too difficult. You should be able to figure it out not too not too hard. You, you can find it in a uh, in a jungle, which is this place where the forest thieves live and where you can find pandas and parrots and watermelon and bamboo and all that stuff and, and uh, jungle beans. But we're going to have to be dealing with what the desert thieves are dealing with right now. So, you know, a bunch of things. So what have you found out, huh? Huh, that's all you found? I mean, that is two, like, entire civilizations that we didn't even know about that existed. And apparently there's also things in the ocean. What did you get? I battled a bunch of stuff. I feel so alive. Right, that's good for you. What'd you battle? Anything, you know, you find anything threatening that you have to do your threat assessment on? Anything in particular that might be, you know, incredibly dangerous? Flying and breathing fire, perhaps? <clears throat> I found it off, like... A hundred spiders and silverfish and things like that. Well, not to brag, but I fought, I fought my fair share of spiders as well. And uh, I came out unscathed. So, but I also battled with uh, a massive creature. How many? Like a couple, like hundreds. Like enough that, you know, I can boast about it in the same way that you can. The main thing is that I found this other thing. Mm-hmm. I found this other thing, which I think you're going to like. As Sharp and I said, if any one of us is going to not return from our journey, it's probably, probably going to be you, because whatever you're going to be running headfirst into. There is a creature called the Last Inferno, which is this massive, fire-breathing, flying beast that is bigger than anything I've seen before. And it just destroys the entire Desert Steve village twice a week. Oh, that sounds exciting. Yeah, sure. And uh, you're going to have to deal with that. So, good luck. I'm going to, like, the Desert Steves always have to go underground to try and avoid it. And uh, most of them, most of them don't make it. So, interesting, right? Oh, nice. Yeah, that's, that's your job. Uh, good luck with that. Sounds like fun. 
yeah, uh, well, the crossbow, I don't think that's gonna cut it, really, because... So I shot lightning at it, and that didn't do anything. You know, I did some of your threat assessments, I didn't miss that class, but... Yeah, it, lightning, basically impervious, or, well, it kind of got hurt by it, not too much. And fireballs, it shoots fireballs itself, so, you know... That's probably not gonna work. Oh, you would be surprised how many things I've destroyed with this crossbow. Yeah, keep up that confidence whenever you're f facing down this flying destruction machine. That's, that's, yeah, I, you're gonna be fine. And Sharp is going to be helping you with that, like, hopefully, because I'm gonna, I have some things to do. Still need to upgrade that sword, though. Kind of getting dull. I assume so. At least you're the confident one. We're just gonna have to wait until Sharp comes back. I expected him to be com coming back a little sooner. He can teleport like all of us. Okay, so Sharp can't come back yet. We have a problem. Uh-oh.